Hello and welcome back to Introduction to Physics. So today we're going to be doing a lab and so you're going to want to go to uh, Canvas, Modules, then uh, the Labs, and then uh, click on the Unit 1 Labs and then when you've opened up that Microsoft document you're going to go to 1.6 Momentum. So that's the, the title of the lab. It's lab 1.6 and it's momentum. So click on that tab at the bottom of the Microsoft Excel worksheet. Okay, first you're going to want to read the concept introduction to familiarize yourself with what do we mean by momentum and conservation of momentum. And then complete the pre-lab. Okay, then go down to the purpose or the procedure go down to the procedure and you're going to need to go on to the internet and if you just type in under the search bar physics classroom collision carts you should come to a simulation so it's the website is the physics classroom and the simulation is the collision carts Okay, you're going to click on the reset button in the upper left hand corner of the simulation. And that then will turn into the start button. So part one of the lab is to investigate explosions. So you're going to click on the green button at the bottom of the simulation that says explosion and the screen is going to change. Okay, you're going to give the carts the following initial conditions. So the red cart, click on the uh, the middle red cart to give it a mass of two kilograms. The blue cart, click on the large cart which will give it a mass of three the initial speed of the carts is going to be zero which means that the two carts are going to be stuck together and they're not going to be initially moving and then what's going to happen is they're going to explode in opposite directions so click on the start button in the upper left hand corner and then after the carts have moved record their final velocities so the velocity of, of the red cart and the blue cart. All right, now that you've got that, you can calculate the initial uh, momentum of the two carts when they were stuck together by taking the mass of the two carts and then add it together and then multiplying it by the speed of the two carts before they exploded and then you can find the final momentums by multiplying the final speeds times their individual masses. And then at the bottom you're going to add them together to find the sum. So how does the initial momentum of the system compare to the final momentum of the system? So those numbers should be the something. And so based on that was momentum conserved. Hint, it was. So momentum should have been conserved in that situation. All right, now you're going to click on the reset button to reset the simulation. And uh, this time you're going to pick out two different masses. So any masses that you want, but they do need to be different from each other the initial velocity is still going to be zero and then after the explosion you are going to measure the final speed of the red cart and then use it to calculate the final speed of the blue cart okay and then you can um, look 
at that formula there. So the initial momentum has to equal the final momentum. So you're going to take all of your values of the masses and the speeds and then plug it into that formula and then solve it for the final velocity of the blue cart. And then once you got that speed you can compare it to what the simulation said that the final speed of the blue cart should have been. And you should be pretty close. Okay, so now we're ready for part two of the lab. So I think I'm going to do that on another video. So I'm going to stop this video here and then when we come back we're going to do part two of the lab.